Hello everyone, did you study well at school? Here we have a quick question in the middle of the screen. We have 3 times 1 plus 2 divided by 2 inside parentheses. And a lot of students may be saying, hey mister, this is like the easiest question I ever seen. I can easily solve this question in a few seconds because we have only addition, division, right here we have multiplication. So I learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. So right now pause the video and try to solve this question by yourself. Right here we have 3 options, option A, option B and option C. So right now choose one option, what do you think is the correct answer? To this question and write your option down into the comment section. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, right here we have 1 plus 2, we have right here 3, and we still have this division in the end, so we have 3 divided by 2 inside parentheses, because we have parentheses right here and, and right here, and we have in the beginning we have 3. So as a result we have 3 times 3 divided by 2 equal to 1.5. So as a result a lot of students say that correct answer is, is 4.5. We have this option, this is option C, so a lot of students say that correct answer is these four. But I want to say one really important moment. If you choose this option C and you say that option C is a correct answer, well, you should review your basic math because you need to know about the thing which is called order of operation. And we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem because 4.5 is absolutely wrong answer, wrong solution. So just forget about this randomly method because to be honest, right here we have in the beginning, so between these three we have multiplication sign. The next thing we have this addition sign. And the next thing is this division sign. Yeah? So we, we are talking about multiplication, addition and division, but don't forget about these parentheses. Okay, so we still have these parentheses on both sides. So we have a lot of things which is called mathematical operations, like these three first is the mathematical operators, and these parentheses look like a group in symbols, but we need to know in terms of math, we need to know what is the correct order to perform this mathematical operation, what we need to perform first, what we need to perform second, third and fourth. Yeah, we need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. And right here on the next part, I'm going to show you uh, the thing which is called order of operation, the thing which is extremely important in our question. So right now let's try to learn, let's try to remember about the order of operation. So in our case, we're talking about PEMDAS order of operation. But to be honest, in India and in the UK, uh, people use BODMAS. But to be honest, order of operation for, for brackets, orders, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction is absolutely the same thing. So it looks like um, like equal order of operation, if we can talk like that, yeah? We're talking about the same order of operation, so it's not like a bad thing for us when we use BODMAS, PEMDAS. So let me just erase this real quick. We are talking about PEMDAS. So generally, let's talk about PEMDAS, basic um, basic order of operation. And each of these letters stands for something. So we are talking about P, A, E, M, D, A, C. Each of these letters stands for something. And right now I'm going to explain you what it stands what this letter stands for. For example, let's start with parentheses. To be honest, letter P stands for parentheses. We are talking about this type of bracket, so it looks like grouping symbols. Yeah, we're talking about parentheses. We're talking about these squiggly brackets. Sometimes happen that mm, people use these squiggly brackets or this type of brackets, which is extremely important in, in BODMAS. People in bo people who use like a BODMAS uh, use this type of bracket. So I hope you understand it. We are talking about P, which is like grouping group in symbols, parentheses, yeah, parentheses, squiggly brackets and brackets. Okay, so the next part, let me change my pen real quick, just for better understanding. We are talking about E, which stands for exponent, but in terms of mass, we are talking about powers. For example, we have 2 to the power 3, so this 3 is the next step in terms of like uh, in terms of uh, letter E, we're talking about exponents, so the next step is to raise this 2 to the power 3, and we're not talking about only 2 to the power 3, basically, we're talking about different like combinations, when we have a parenthesis to, th to the power, for example, 2 is our next step, we are talking about like a huge value to the power 3, to the power 2, and it's only like in this case we have 2, 3, but to be honest, it can be like uh, a huge power, so we are talking about E, which stands for exponent, so letter E stands for exponent, Exponents. And as you can see, we go from P to E right here, so we go step by step to the next part, and we uh, go from left to right in terms of like priority, because priority goes through uh, higher priority means left position and lower priority means position on the right. So on the left side we have the higher priority, on the right side we have the lower priority. Okay, so letter M stands for multiplication. I hope you I hope you know it, I hope you learn this. So letter M stands for multiplication. And letter D stands for division. And here's like a tricky moment. Let me just separate this part real quick because a lot of students think that 
letter M is before D in terms of like priority right here. And a lot of students say that uh, multiplication is before division, but it's not works like that. Multiplication and division have the same priority, so we can easily swap it from left to from left. We can easily swap this priority from left to right. Okay, so what I mean right here, we have multiplication division. So it means like a lot of students might be saying, okay, multiplication, let's perform it first, then we perform division. But to be honest, we will have like a different answer. And in terms of PEMDAS, we need to know what is the correct order, like 100% correct order. And just imagine we have like 10 times 10 times 2 and divided by 5. Well, right here we have multiplication. We have a mixture of multiplication and division. Yeah, we have right here multiplication, right here we have division. So what is the correct order? In terms of like PEMDAS, a letter M is before D and a lot of students might be saying, okay, let's multiply right here at first. And they say, okay, we have 20 divided by 5. We have four. Well, this is a correct, okay, this is absolutely correct approach. But what will happen when we have, for example, let me just change my pen real quick. So, for example, when we have 10 divided by 2 and times 5. So, when we have something like that, and a lot of students may be saying, okay, let's just multiply once more right here. But to be honest, we don't have grouping elements, we don't have parentheses. So, it looks like we should perform it in order from left to right. So, this multiplication division part we should perform from left from left to right. And in this case, we have two signs. The first one division, the second multiplication, and the first sign from left to right is this division. So we are talking about 10 divided by 2 at first, so we have 5, and we are talking about times 5, so our last step is 5 times 5 equal to equal to 25. So this is like a quick note for me because a lot of students confused and we should perform it as a group. Yeah, so multiplication division, this is one common group. Just go in a strict order from left to right, if we don't have like parentheses, exponents, if we have like a mixture of multiplication and division, doesn't matter how many multiplication signs, it can be like a long expression, like 2 divided by 2 divided by 2 times 3 times 4, so like a mixture of a lot of, of uh, numerous of uh, mathematical operations, uh, which includes like a multiplication and division, we should perform it in order from left to right. Whatever or wherever mathematical operator comes first from left to right, next we should perform this mathematical operator. Right here multiplication comes first, right here it comes first division. All right, here's we have the last step, addition and subtraction. Basically, this is not that hard. We're talking about addition and subtraction. We can easily perform it in order from left to right. So I think on this part, you do need this order of operation because everyone know how can we add or subtract. Okay, so on the left side, we have a quick example. I want you to show how can we mm, solve this type of question in terms of like PEMDAS order of operation. So right here we have um, a lot of mathematical things. We have addition, we have division, we have parentheses, we have exponents, we have multiplication. So right now, whatever we have like a um, question which has like a mixture of, of uh, a lot of things in terms of like parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, every time write this PEMDAS on the right side. So let's write this PEMDAS checklist. PEM, PEMDAS checklist, all right? And right now, let's scan what do we have right here, because if we, let's go from the top to the bottom. Every time you have this um, expression, let's go from the top to the bottom. The first step from the top to the bottom is is parentheses, okay? And let's scan where do we have parentheses. Let's look at it. Yeah, we have parentheses right here. So the first step is to evaluate the expression inside, inside parentheses. So let's look at it. What do we have right here? We have two plus, right here inside parentheses, we have we have four, okay, four, no, don't forget about parentheses, square, and times three. All right, so as you can see, we complete this first step, which is extremely important. So we don't have parentheses, we complete this first step. And to be honest, right now we can actually get rid of this parentheses because we have only four inside of it, yeah? Inner, we don't have like inner parentheses, we have only four, so it's not like the different thing when we have like a four square or parentheses to the second power. This is absolutely the same thing. So we have two plus four square and times three. All right, so the next thing in terms of this PEMDAS is exponent. Okay, so let's scan where do we have exponent. And uh, if you look closely right here, exponent means powers. Yeah, to be honest, if you look closely, we have these powers, we have these two, so we should perform this raised in four to the second power right here. So as a result, what do we have? We have two plus four square, we have 16 and times times three. All right, so as you can see, we complete this step with exponent. So right now, let's move forward to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. Don't forget about this. So uh, for better understanding, just put right here this, this 
one bracket, okay? And it means that you are considering it as a, a same, the same priority. And to be honest, right now we need to scan all multiplication signs and all division signs. And it's not that hard, I guess, because we have only multiplication signs. So we can easily say, okay, we have multiplication sign, we don't have division sign. We need to cancel this, let's cancel this like that. So we don't have D, we don't have it, we don't have division sign. We have only multiplication sign, so let's perform it from left to right. We don't need to perform it from left to right because we have only one division sign, so we are talking about 2 plus uh, 16 times 3 equal to equal to 48. All right, so as you can see, we complete the next the next group. Let's go to the next step. The next step is like uh, the next step is addition and subtraction. To be honest, we have addition sign right here, and this is our last step. To be honest, we need to add 2 plus 48, which is equal to which is equal to 50. All right, and we don't have we don't have subtraction sign. So as you can see, according to this checklist, we go from the top to the bottom, okay? We go from top to the bottom, and step by step, we just evaluate expression inside parentheses with exponent, with multiplication sign, with addition sign, yeah, go step, step by step. And this is a quick explanation about this PEMDAS. And right now, when you learn everything about PEMDAS order of operation, of course, it can be like more complicated question with a force power, with a lot of parentheses, with inner parentheses. Of course, we can have like inner parentheses, with a lot of parentheses inside and there are a lot of things here there are a lot of cases but to be honest this is a, I hope you understand this basic solution so right now let's go back to our question because don't forget we have a question in the beginning and when we solve it in the beginning we we don't know about order of operations so right now let me just erase all of this stuff right here because in the beginning we say that 4.5 is a correct is a correct answer so right now let's try to look at it from another perspective from, in a perspective from of PEMDAS order of operation all right so first of all as i told before we're going to write our checklist so we have PEMDAS PEMDAS checklist PEMDAS checklist and right now let's scan the same thing. Let's scan from the top to the bottom right here. So the first step is, is parentheses. And let's scan our question in terms of like parentheses. To be honest, we have parentheses right here. So from here we go from, from, from here till here. So we have parentheses. This is our first step to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. But this is, this is not the same case as we had before because we are talking about a mixture. We are talking about a mixture of addition and division signs. So we have parentheses. Yeah, this is great. And let's simplify it. Let's evaluate the expression inside parentheses. This is our first step to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. And inside parentheses, we have a mixture of addition and division. And this is only two cases right here. The first case, addition first. The second case, uh, division, uh, sorry, addition first, then division, or division first, then addition. Okay, so we have only two cases, but let's look closely what do we have right here. In terms of the in terms of addition, we have addition right here. In terms of division, we have division right here. And as I told before, uh, we are talking about priority from the top to the bottom. So whatever elements come first from the top to the bottom, it means that that element had the higher priority. Right here, we have D is up uh, is um, higher than A. Okay, so it means then D, which stands for division, has the higher priority than A, which stands for for addition, all right? So let me just erase all of this stuff real quick. And we are talking about division, division first. So our first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses, but inside parentheses, we have a complicated expression. So our first step is to divide two divided by two. So as a result, we have three, we have one plus two divided by two equal to, equal to one, all right? So right now, as I told before, we need to simplify expression inside parentheses, and in our case, one plus one is next step because we need to evaluate this expression inside parentheses. So we have three times two. And right now I forget a little bit about this PEMDAS, but to be honest, we don't have exponents right here. We can easily cancel this exponents part real quick. We complete this division part, but this is not how it works PEMDAS right now, because we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses, and right now we need to evaluate, we need to reject from here the step that we don't have in our question, so we, we reject this E, we had D in the beginning, yeah, we complete it right now, and right now we have addition only addition we don't have like multi we have a multiplication yeah to be honest but right now this is very basic thing so right now you don't need this order of operation you don't need it because we're talking about basic things this is basic thing one thing you you need to know is that you need to perform division before addition and when you have it you have a very basic thing you have one plus one equal to two because everyone knows that parentheses is uh, parentheses is first comes first yeah in order of operation so right now we have three times two equal to 
equal to 6. And to be honest, we don't have this option. We have 9, we have 3 factorial, we have 4.5. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, maybe maybe 4.5 is the correct answer. But if you look closely, this 3 factorial, let's remember 3 factorial from school, okay, 3 factorial. This is a product from 1 to 3. So we have 1 times 2 times 3, which is equal to, we have 6. So 3 factorial, this is the same as this fixed. And in terms of this test, a correct answer is, is option Option B is a correct answer, okay? So you should be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely correct. And a correct answer according to this test is 6. A correct answer, uh, sorry, according to this test is 3 factorial option B. But according to this quick algebra question, this is the this is 6. So this is my explanation to this question. When you type this question in a, in a calculator, try to plug in the whole entire problem. So from left side to right side. Because when you plug in, for example, 3, then you plug in 1. Sometimes happen that your calculator multiplied this 3 times 1 instantly. But your calculator doesn't know what you have further, but further you have like addition, division, so try to plug in the whole entire problem into your into your into your calculator. When you plug in it, you your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation and you have like addition, division, parenthesis, multiplication, and then a calculator is smart enough because um, each of these calculators knows about PEMDAS, BODMAS, or different uh, other different orders of operation, which is which is really great. So let's write our answer to this question. So this is option B is a correct answer to this question. So I hope you understand it. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, if you need help with any of these classes. I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of different quick question, long question, but it depends on your, what about your algebra skill, yeah? So thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best. See you in the next videos. And of course, write your notes, write your thoughts about this question down into the comment section, write your solutions down into the comment section, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.